Hey guys, uh, good news video number two. Uh, in our good news video number one, we talked about how uh, everyone's gonna be exposed to COVID and uh, that's the good news. It's just a matter of time. It's, uh, it's a matter of when, not if. And a lot of people have probably already been exposed already. So um, that's the good news. And whether it's the first wave, second wave, 12th wave, we're all eventually gonna be exposed to this virus and that's the good news. And then the second good news video is that um, the, the immune system is actually the cure for COVID. You've been given an amazing immune system. That's the good news, is you have an immune system that's able to fight this thing. And there's a thing called herd immunity that actually does work. So um, so, we, so it, our immune system, we, since we're babies, we're crawling around the floor, we're putting everything in our mouths, we're, we're touching, we're, we're not washing our hands, and that's how we develop a strong immune system. So we're made for this, and that is the good news. Now with my herd immunity argument, um, it comes from the fact that 95 to 98 percent of people recover from this. That's the facts. That it probably closer to 99. Who knows when we actually know the true numbers of people that have actually been exposed and never knew it? Um, they call those, by the way, they call those people um, asymptomatic carriers. You know what that? Is? That's actually called a healthy person, is what that is. So when we find out the number of people that have been exposed, we'll get the true numbers. But the reality is. Our body's the best drug. Our body's the best vaccine. The immune system actually handles this thing the vast majority of the time. So with herd immunity, especially in a community where the, the healthcare system is not overrun, they have the resources, the beds aren't full, we take, we, we, we take the, the healthy people, we get them back into society as soon as possible. We still quarantine the sick and the people who are immune compromised. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. If, if you need to stay indoors, stay indoors, wear gloves. I, I get it. That that's perfectly fine. But for the rest of us, we need some level of exposure so that we can uh, we can get past this thing. And ultimately, that's the best way to protect people and save lives. I got a lot of criticism because in the first video, it sounded like you know herd immunity was being insensitive to people because they're going to get sick. But in reality, herd immunity is the most sympathetic, compassionate thing we can do because it actually saves lives. It gets past this problem quicker so that we can actually get on with our lives and protect the people that are the most vulnerable. And the other way that it saves lives is herd immunity protects the economy. It gets us back to work because we know the number one risk factor for people's health is actually poverty and starvation. 30 plus million people in this country are unemployed, which leads to poverty, which leads to starvation, which also leads to mental health issues and depression and suicide and domestic abuse and child abuse and child molestation and overdoses and drug abuse, alcohol. The list is endless and we know those things are all skyrocketing on the backside of this. So really, and this is just my opinion, so um, we have two choices. We could either shelter in place. We can keep hand sanitizing and keep everybody scared of the invisible boogeyman and pretend that if we just hide long enough, this whole thing will magically go away or we'll get the miracle vaccine and then that's going to protect everybody. I'm not hanging my hat on that. Or the other option, protect the elderly, protect the healthcare system, protect the vulnerable, and let's get out and get herd immunity. And I'm not saying we, we irresponsibly start hugging and mouth kissing people that have fevers. I'm just saying we go to life as normal, get the economy back on track, protect people that are on the backside of that problem. So that's what we've got to do. And at the end of this day, it, it, this is just my opinion. Don't, don't take my word for anything. Like develop your own opinions, formulate your own thoughts and beliefs, make your own videos. Like we got to start having these conversations. But the problem is we've been told to butt out when it comes to our own health. We've been told just to leave it to the experts and, and, and follow the lead. Well, the problem is we have to be the expert. It's, it's our health. It's our family. It's our future. We have to be the ones that are the experts or at least moderately well informed. And I, and I don't like that fact. Like I really wish that we could just trust and follow the lead of whoever's in charge and just let them tell us what to do. But they don't have a very good track record a lot of the times. And uh, the fact is we're the sickest country in the industrialized world, and now we lead the world in COVID cases. So um, following the lead doesn't just sound quite right to me. So voice your own opinion. This is still America. We're still allowed to ask questions and have conversations. And I think the herd immunity conversation needs to happen early and often. And um, I think we need to all just start participating in what's going on around us. So um, leave the comments if you disagree with me. God bless. Put them in the comments. Let's have a, have a discussion. This is America. Um, anyway, God bless. Can't wait to see the comment.